to the Love Cafe. May I get you anything to drink? Huh? Oh, um, yes. May I please have a Coke? Sure thing. I'll be back with that in a jiffy. How are you, well, holding up? I'm fine, I guess. Listen, I know it's tough, but this was just the first day and I know it'll get easier. I know, but everything around here reminds me of them. I can imagine that. The couples everywhere, the lights, just, I wish I was back to normal. I wish my family was back to normal. Listen, I can imagine that. For the first time ever, I think I'm ever gonna say this. Occupy yourself with work. <laughs> it's just ever since my parents separated and today is the first official day of being divorced, it just doesn't feel right. Okay, um, like I said, it'll get easier and I promise that. But for now, you may want to open up my present. Ah, if you insist. OMG, a new planner. Thank you. Well, I only got that for you is because your, well, planner looks a bit busted. It's perfect, thank you. No problem. Oh, here. Open yours. OMG! These are so pretty. I'm gonna put them on right now. How does it look? Pretty. I knew the little tangle would look so cute on you. <laughs> Thanks. Well, do you wanna have a seat? Yes. Your Coke? Oh, thank you. No problem. Guys. Jacob! Well, since I knew you were going through some rough times, I got you some. Ooh, some what? Well, you'll have to open up the box to find out. Jacob, is this homemade? My aunt Stella's homemade peppermint bark. You betcha. That's so romantic! comfort Cameron. I mean, look at her crying. I'm not crying. I'm a grown woman. Ow! What was that for? Sorry. I'm tripping over my new shoelaces. Anyways, I better get going. Cameron, look sad. Remember? Because you just got hit and now Jacob has to comfort you? Okay, well, you better stop tripping. <laughs> Bye. Well, you want to sit? Uh, I'm game if you are. What? So, have you really been working all day? Well, I don't really know what else to do. I can't go and celebrate. It'll just make me break down into tears about thinking about my parents. Well, did you ever celebrate it when you were younger? Yeah, until I moved out of the house. Then Valentine's Day was kind of an off day work for me. I could catch up on anything I haven't done it yet. It was kind of like a no work work day. Oh. Oh no, Valentine's Day is just a holiday. I mean, it's nothing really special. Are you kidding me? Valentine's Day is amazing. It's celebrating the day of love. Yeah, but who will I have to spend with it? 
At that time, my parents, when they lived together, lived about 10 miles away. And I never really had the time to go over there. Okay, step number one. Turn off your computer. Done. That includes your planner. Here. See? It's already done. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do... Hi, you two! You guys are such a cute couple. Happy Valentine's Day! Oh, I hope you guys have many years. What? No, we're not... Yeah, anything. single as a Pringle. Oh. Well, let me you do you two a favor and... Well, come on. Ask the girl out. You guys are so cute together. Oh, it's... Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Alright then. Like I was saying, do you guys need anything else? Dessert? Drinks? No, I think we're fine. Thank you. Okay. Bye. So what's the rest of your amazing plan? We're gonna answer some questions. Okay. And the point of this is to... to take your mind off of your parents and... Figure out what the true meaning of Valentine's Day is. Okay, so this game is called Would You Rather. So, would you rather get lots of Valentines from people you don't know very well, or just get one from someone who is very special to you? One. Why? Because getting a lot of Valentines from somebody that you don't even know very well could be so meaningless. However, if you get one from someone that means really special to you, well, that can make your day besides tons of valentines from people you don't know. Well said. I'll go with one too. Okay, host a valentine's day party or be a guest at a valentine's day party? Be a guest. That way you don't have to undergo all the stress that party planning takes. But why I'd host it? Why? Because you would know exactly what's going on at every single time and you'd be familiar with the place that you're hosting at. Okay, um, oh I have a good one. Eat heart-shaped dog treats or eat rose petals? Rose petals. Ditto. Ooh, I have one. Write a Valentine's Day poem that you have to read to the whole school at a special assembly or design a Valentine's Day poster that is displayed in the school office. Poem. Why? Because poems are typically about love. That way it kind of set the Valentine's Day mood. Okay, I have another one. Half... To always write a red pen or pencil for the rest of your life, or have to dot all of your I's and J's with hearts for the rest of your life. Pencils, because then it looks more professional. Same. However, if in work we have a chance to write something, I'm definitely writing it on a computer. Same. Ooh, get a Valentine's Day kiss from a big slobbery dog, or get a Valentine's Day kiss from a Camel. Dog, 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 all the way. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Ooh, I have one. Go to a huge Valentine's Day dinner that tons of people you know will be there with overrated perfume. Or go to a big Valentine's Day party, yada, 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 with overrated cologne. I'm guessing this is in a world where boys can wear perfume and girls can wear cologne. Hey, the heart wants what it wants. I do perfume. Same. Okay, this should be your last one because I think I'm gonna top it all off like a piece of cake. Would you rather spend the rest of your Valentine's Day lonely like you are doing now or go out on a date with me? Mm, probably do the date. Me too. When should I pick you up? Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, forgot my manners. Cameron, would you like to go on a date with me? Yes. Perfect. See, just because your parents aren't happy right now, and I'm sure they will be much happier, is doesn't mean that you can't be happy too. Thanks, Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. What a cute couple. <laughs> <laughs>